the Neumann U87, a studio standard and a true classic, and the pinnacle of German engineering. But the question is, is it really worth four to five thousand dollars? Hey guys, my name is Christian. Hopefully you are all doing well. Welcome to my channel. Alright, so today we are going to check out the Neumann U87 and here before me I have a nice specimen from the late 60s, possibly the very early 70s. And this is actually the second time around I've owned a N87. A couple of years ago I owned a pair of 87s, but back then I also owned a 67 and an M269, so the 87s never really gotten that much studio time and to me, you know, the 87 always delivered a professional result, but it never really excited me as uh, its tube brothers and sisters. So that's why I crowned it to be the best boring microphone ever made. But this time I actually feel a bit differently about the microphone. Uh, the first time that I've hooked up this 87, I felt that it definitely excited me. It sounded very familiar in that Neumann-esque, you know, vintage character uh, that we all uh, know and love so uh, this time I feel a bit differently. So today I have some vocals it's going to be in a mixed context also completely raw. All of the files are of course available for download so feel free to check those out and with that said let's have some fun while we are checking out the vintage Neumann U87. Starting like a whisper, calling like the wind. And all I knew, all I had was lost. I gave everything that I had. It started like a whisper Calling like the wind And all I knew, all I had was lost I gave everything that I had I took the fight, I made a stand for what it's worth I gave it my all And I know I'd do it again and again And I know I never give up. All right, so those were the examples that I had to show you guys here today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And with that said, let's talk a little bit about the microphone. So one of the reasons why I really enjoy vintage microphones is that the, the sibilance, for instance, is really baked into the signal. And what I mean with that is that although uh, modern clones or modern microphones might sound or usually sound very nice, 
the sibilance usually sits on top of the signal, which means that you have to use the esters and such to kind of tame that. But with a vintage microphone like the 87 here, it's baked in, which means that you have to uh, use less processing in the mix stage, which is a very nice feature. And now that I've owned most of the vintage Neumann microphones, you know, 47, M269, U67, there's definitely a very familiar tone to all of those microphones. And the the, the simula similarities are, are more than the differences, especially when you listen to it in a mixed context. So the question here today, is the vintage U87 worth the going prices of $45,000 like they are going for today? I'd say, Probably yes, actually. And um, if you don't want to spend like $12,000 on a 67, you get all the nice kind of benefits of a vintage microphone with the 87, but without that kind of crazy price tag. So this year, I really look forward at uh, using the 87 here with different two preamps to see if I can add that extra spice that I felt was missing in the past. But as it is now, I'm actually quite uh, content and quite happy with the tone that I'm getting from this microphone. Alright, so don't forget that you can download the raw files and with that said, if you like this kind of content, please hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you guys around.